do what's happening with y'all man welcome back to the channel man we is in this thing and uh how y'all doing i'm about to jump right into it man because i'm like i'm kind of i'm kind of turned about this we finna see what's busting but how y'all doing though man what's up what's up man how the world treating y'all man what's up what we doing what we doing all right man so i hope y'all good man and i hope you got what you need because i do and I got it in the L. You already know. You already know. Cause we finna get into them spooks, man. So we got, we got, we got. We was dealing with some divot boxes and some gin, right? We had the divot box. Now we got a divot mirror. Maybe getting interesting here, okay? So we got mind seed summoning real cursed divot mirror in a haunted desert, and it went wrong. And they got some paranormal activities. That we're about to check out. So, uh, without further ado, I hope you got what you need because I do. Let's get a busting, shall we? We're pretty much secluded here. I didn't even finish my sentence. Oh, what the f is that? The animal? So, we got fires lit all around right now. It's litty. This is fucking crazy. We got a litty in the city, y'all. Let's turn up. So Colton drove down to Las Vegas and began dealing with some unfortunate events after he came into contact with the mirror. So uh, I hit up Tanner. We were over at his place and he went out for a bit and I had some alone time with it myself. So I had turned off all the lights, you know, started staring into it, scrying into it for about 20, 30 minutes or so. And I mean, later that night, you know me, dude, like I don't really submit to all that stuff, but like, I'm leaving his house and I severely sprained my ankle walking down the stairs. And on my way back to my hotel, so I get to to walk, don't at a red light, my car got totaled. And when the guy got out of the car, even him, he had like no recollection of the accident. Almost like he was lost or, you know, like he didn't know what was going on. Wait, 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 wait. So homeboy left the spot and severely sprained him ankle. Then he get down the road some mile and he get t-bone dang talking about the bad luck striking up soon i'm talking about early early they gone they already letting you know what it is i don't know it was it was a really trippy experience I so i uh head back to the hotel i throw some uh ice on my ankle and i wake up to a phone call the next morning man this is a heavy one honestly sorry <clears throat> kind of getting choked up talking about it but uh, that night that I had stared into the mirror, uh, apparently a friend of mine had taken his own life and I got, I woke up to the phone call, like literally with people just frantic, you know, telling me what happened and all of these things that occurred in just a short period of time. You know me, dude, like I'm skeptical of most situations, but I can't say that anything occurred based on, you know, my interaction with the mirror, but if I ever see that fucking thing again, it'll be way too soon. I don't even want to hear about it. I don't want to know. Like, I don't ever want to see that thing or come in contact with it in any way ever again. Do I need to elaborate on what him just said about dealing with stuff that you ain't got no comprehension of? Or can we proceed? We can proceed? Are y'all sure? Because I will break that down what he's saying. But we're going to move on with, with the notion that y'all understand what he just said. Okay? Let's go. Got 
They're playing the whole part, ain't the case? If a ghost came through the two the K two meter and sounded like that, what would you think you were dealing with if the dang entity sounded like that over your shoulder? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Like whoa! <laughs> so a friend of mine from the West Coast reached out and said he found some locations up, that were Kate? active and perfect for paranormal investigating. Okay. Hey, my name's Tanner, born and raised in Vegas. I'm an EMT out here, so I've seen Tanner. lots of creepy stuff. And as a hobby, I'm into paranormal investigations. I've been doing it for eight to 10 years, and I found a lot of really active places out here that I wanted to share with Casey. When he said he had a cursed mirror, I was definitely on board. No questions asked. So I got the mirror from a friend of mine in Las Vegas that was gifted the mirror from her mother, and her mother got it from a group of pagans that used to use it for all types of satanic rituals, like seances. When asked to do an interview, she texted me, honestly, that mirror has caused me so much pain and misery, I want nothing to do with it. I even offered some cash to try to get her story on camera because I felt like it was that important to have in this whole thing, but she refused and said, the money won't make up for the things I've had to deal with while it's been in my possession. So tonight we're gonna be bread. investigating this mirror to see if we could figure out now what's actually hundred, attached to it, but we're doing it in a location that Tanner said is know. highly active for paranormal activity and secluded in the middle thing. of At nowhere. All. Keep your money, keep the mirror, don't call me. Oh, and then they got two of them. So this specific spot in the desert is... Okay, so I know a thing or two. And I know if you put two mirrors facing each other, you open the portal. And they travel right through. And anybody can stop and see what's going on in between the passing and decide to stay if they so want, so desire. This is my understanding. My understanding. Okay? And they got two of them facing each other. So they definitely didn't open something. This is about to get interesting. Let's go. Is a known dumping ground for bodies since the very beginning of Las Vegas. Mostly known for the mob. And to this day, we get calls out there for bodies. Typically, I've done cursed items in the past. I've done Dybbuk boxes, mystery boxes. I've never done anything quite like this. And uh, me and Tanner, we're, we're going to check out this mirror which has been said to do a lot of really bad things to people. And not only is the mirror said to be cursed, we're actually in a location that there's been tons of dead bodies found from hits, from the mafia, from cartel. Uh, there's been a lot of death out here where we're at right now. And we're literally in the middle of nowhere. There is not another person around probably for miles. We're pretty much secluded here. So we're gonna do some spirit box tests. We're gonna try Ouija board in a little while and um, here we go. That's what we're here for. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah, so this is, uh, this is it. Just knowing that there are dead people found out here all the time is creepy enough alone. So we'll take turns asking questions. Okay, I'll get this thing rolling. Sometimes we get stuff, sometimes we don't. Let's see. Is there any demonic being present with us yeah, now? Yeah, I Can you communicate with us through the box? Yeah. yeah, I don't know what it said, but I don't know what it said here. Can you say that again? You hear a woman though? I thought it was a woman, and honestly, just... It was quick, like, I'm here now. What the f is that? It's never done that. I always put new batteries in the equipment at the beginning of every investigation, and there's no reason that the spirit box should have been acting like that. Alright, so all I did was just slow the sweep down, and it's back to normal. 
don't know why I was going like crazy like that on that speed, but I'm already convinced. Yeah, woman. yeah. yeah I've heard a couple of women's voices yeah, coming through. Are you a woman? Someone said, who's this? Did you hear that? That was a guy. I think... I think it was, I'm a woman, who's this? What is your name? There's whispering in there. That light, we had another light set up just died. We got one over here, we got the light from the fire, but just wanted to kind of document that in the video. Is the voice we're hearing from you, is it from the mirror? Can you speak louder? Can you tell us if that's you? It said shut the f*** up, dude. Did you hear that? I'm talking about talking both. I swear to God, I heard a voice say shut the f*** up and then the thing just beep. I'm hearing screaming too. There's a certain feeling you get when you're trying to communicate and your EMF detector starts to go off. Oh yeah, did you just get like chills? I just got chills too, bro. 100% I just got chills. Well, maybe she, I mean I'm assuming she at this point is ready to open a little dialogue with us. Yeah. If, if that was you, I didn't even finish my sentence. If, if that was you, I didn't even finish my sentence. Whoa. I hope that other camera's on too, that it like, yeah. act, like <laughs> actually got, got that. Man, that's nuts. Up, man. All types of people coming through there. Yo, did you just hear something out there? Not just on, not, not only just the no, people in the surrounding like, area, but people coming from the mirror yeah, too. Yeah, so yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, ain't no telling so, how many people out there right now. We gotta get uh, some flashlights out of my bag anyways. Because right, our, our lights are all dying and shit, so we might have to reset it up. Yeah, that's why you always bring back up lights and batteries and shit, you know? Oh, that's pretty bright. Okay, yo. You need to get one What's up? What's up? Oh. What oh, what the fuck is that? Is that yeah, it's that. yeah. What that is? Mountain lion? What do you think that is? A cougar? My best guess, honestly, might be a coyote. There's coyote? so many damn coyotes out here, man. Really? Yeah. You think it's gonna fuck with us? Oh, no. No? No, they don't. Seeing eyes in the darkness in the middle of nowhere definitely is uncomfortable. Okay. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, no, I but what is it though? You see him out here alive? Because he ain't running. Is there any more? Is it just the one? No, not two. Yeah, it's just the one, man. It's crazy. He's just chilling. It's like he's just sitting out there. Yeah, like if I threw a rock or something. He'd over probably there. run away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. That's cool though, yeah. man. I'm in a different territory out here. This is not like my regular sh you know? some, I mean, our nature out here is pretty safe overall. We got some, like, obviously rattle alerts, yeah, like rattlesnakes, yeah. stuff. When he said it was just a coyote, I didn't really worry too much from that point on. Yeah, yeah we're good. I'm over to like, they uh, trying to pay back to the thing, y'all. Don't do that. All the bad things that happened to her because of you. Did you hear that, though? No, I mean, like, I, I don't mean to interrupt you. I really just heard coyote out there. How? No sh real sh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, you f***ing hear him out here. No, yeah, you do hear him hell out here. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's all dramatic. Yeah. It's super loud. All right, go for it. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Are the bad things that happen to her because of you? Are you the one that was tormenting the previous owner of this mirror? Hey man, hold up bro. It sounds like the ghosts are talking about the animal out there watching them. And dude just said, imagine bones being picked. I don't think that's a coyote, y'all. <laughs> I don't think it's a coyote.
Because the ghost, the ghost own it. They own it. It's watching. Did you not like the previous owner of the year? Like, I know for a fact I heard a coyote or howling, but I just heard something else, dude. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell what it was. You hear that, right? Yeah, what is that? It was like a growling. What the f was that, bro? It's a lion. That's a lion? Not mine. 100%? I'm pretty sure it's mine. I've lived here my whole life what and hunted in these deserts since I was a kid. That was definitely not a coyote. I thought I heard like a. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell what it was. You hear that, right? Yeah, we need to we need to set up some more light. You want to spread this fire yeah, out? Definitely. They don't f people usually, but yeah, yeah. that's the main way to turn grab wood. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Being in the middle of a desert is to be stalked by mountain lions. I'm gonna call my boy and get him out here. That's what I'm talking. So we got fires lit all around right now. <laughs> What's up? Uh, 30, 40. 30, 40? Yeah. It takes a minute to get here. But we should be good. We got everything. Yeah, I mean, we need to watch this. You got that flashlight still? Yeah. Yeah, let me just do like a quick scan around. This is fucking crazy. Come towards me and look over here. That's wild. Now you gotta do the investigation and watch your back from a mountain lion. I thought I saw that. I wasn't sure though. Holy How the f did that just happen, bro? Up, bro. <laughs> That's really fed up, man. Holy sh Honestly, there's no explanation as to how that mirror broke when we were standing 30, 40 feet away. I don't know. That really just happened. I find it kind of strange that the smaller mirror ended up being the one that broke, the one that we had bought as a prop for the shoot, and not the bigger one. And I'm kind of wondering, is it because it was facing the cursed mirror? Watch yourself do that, it's sharp as I get a weird vibe, dude, even looking at that thing. It's crazy.
let's get the fuck out of here. So I didn't experience anything that was the same caliber of Colton's issues, but the night that I did get the mirror, I had a terrible nightmare where I was scouting a location for me and Casey, and I was brought down to the basement of this home where this guy's kid had hung himself, and as soon as we got there, he closed the door. The guy looked at me, he said, he's here now, and then a, a terrible demonic voice, I just heard, hallelujah, and I woke up and was like shook, terrified. And also trying to go back to sleep that night, you know, when you're in that half sleep state and you hear things, you're not sure if they're real or not. Three separate times, I heard chains rattling together. Fall asleep, chains, fall asleep, chains. And on the third one, I just decided to wake up because I was so spooked. I believe in attachment, spiritual attachment to items. And with this mirror, if I had to answer yes or no, if it's cursed or not, when we were out there, I could feel a negative presence the whole time we were there. If I had to say it was cursed or not, I would say, when I'm around it, I feel uncomfortable, bad things happen, and it's definitely not coming home with me. Yeah, there was something wildlife related out there looking at us, but even before that, I could feel something. All the stories of other people having tons of unfortunate and crazy things happen to them after they've looked into this mirror, uh, I would say it's probably a good idea that nobody does look into this mirror. I don't know what I'm gonna ultimately end up doing with the mirror, but for the time being, I'm gonna put it in storage until I figure out a plan of what I wanna do with it. It's definitely not going in my house. Yo, so that concludes the video. Man, listen here. We saw the face <laughs> in the mirror. We saw that thing crack and bust. Like, wow. I can't knock it because that's what happened to my glass. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that, that John just shattered. But I'm trying to told y'all about the mirrors, man. You put them two, you know what I'm saying, facing each other. What, what, you know what I'm saying? You you liable to get a lot of activity because it's, it, it's a portal. It guarantees. I mean, the mirror itself is a portal already. But then when you put two, two together, it's almost like... Uh, I mean, yeah, like a portal, you know what I'm saying? Like Stargate-ish type deal where they go from one dimension to another, you know what I'm saying, crossing through mirrors. But the mirror alone is a portal. And things can come in and out. That's why it's, it may be, a, you know what I'm saying, a good idea that everybody cover their mirrors unless you're going to use it. Um, preferably a white sheet. Um but that's if you believe in that sort of thing, into that sort of thing. I just know. I read and uh, I listen. And uh, yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Pulled out that glizzy, ready to get busy. You feel me? <laughs> for real, for real. Y'all can't be out there naked, man. So shout out to Mind C T V, you know what I'm saying, for, for staying protected. You know what I'm talking about? Like, Knowing that safety comes first when you out there doing that thing, man. Um, regardless of what you're trying to do, regardless of what you're trying to get, what footage, it don't matter. Uh, safety first, and that that that, that, that they, to go that extra mile and take that extra precaution to make sure that you, you know, what I'm saying you can get home safely and present the information to us. That's that's 100. You know what I'm saying? So uh, y'all keep it up. Y'all keep having fun out there. Keep enjoying it. Keep bringing us good content. Uh, and we're going to keep get, giving it out to the people, you know what I'm saying, and giving our pointers on that thing thing. You know what I'm talking about? This is Academy 7.